Hi Booktube, Aaron here. I hope you're doing okay. Today for Poetry Thursday, I'm going to read you a couple of poems by Pierre Riverdi, um, a poet I'm rereading at the moment. So for Remember December, uh, an event that I'm co-hosting, um, we're, we're trying to um, promote the joys of rereading. And I, I've been really enjoying rereading poetry um, because as much as you might remember from a collection or selection, of poems there's, there's only so much you can hold on to and particularly with Reverdi I've been noticing that his poems are, are very much like paintings um, some more um, abstract and experimental than others uh, but they all have they either have a scene or a mood or a kind of palette to them um, and so once you put the book down um, to, to remember every poem is kind of like trying to remember every single painting that you've walked past uh, in a museum. So it, it it's, um yeah, it, it you can only remember so much. Um, and there have been a couple of things that have surprised me. The first is um, how many prose poems he, um, he wrote. Um, the sort of typical um, Reverdy poem from what I thought they kind of looked like was more like this, these kind of... Um, more sort of free verse looking poems and I'd, I'd forgotten how many of these prose poems that he wrote um, and I think a lot of these prose poems he was writing a little earlier on I think um, when he was more caught up with the the cubists and the surrealists um, and he's kind of doing what they were trying to do um, either jar you with strange images which he does sometimes um, but also to, to look at one thing from multiple perspectives. Um, I'm not sure which this poem uh, sort of fits into more. Uh, but this is called To Each His Own. To Each His Own. He hunted the moon. He left the night. One by one, the stars fell into a net of running water. Behind the trembling aspens, a strange fisherman watches anxiously with an open eye, the only one hidden under his big hat and the line quivers. Nothing is caught, but he fills his basket with pieces of gold whose glittering is darkened inside the closed hamper. But someone else was waiting further down the bank, more modest he was fishing in a mud puddle the rain had left. The water from the sky was full of stars. So there we go. That's, that's, it's almost like a little parable uh, or something like that. So I, I like that. Um, and then I was, I was looking at some of his more typical poems. That um, So here's one. I'll read a short one called Secret. And I, I was looking at the original French and actually realising that, I mean, that they, they are free verse, um, but then they're, they're not actually completely devoid of rhyme, um, which is really interesting. And it some of the translators kind of echo that in their translation. They might not have the exact same kind of rhyme scheme that um, Verdi would be using, um, but they, they do something similar that kind of works in English. Um, with more sort of half rhymes and and, and things like that but it, it was just interesting just looking at the ends of the line uh, in the original French and it's not a particular rhyme scheme um, but there's a kind of ghost of a rhyme scheme kind of going through it which I thought was quite interesting um, but uh, th this translator uh, Kenneth Rexroth I think it is has totally ignored that I'd say the last one I think was translated by uh, Ron Padgett I think um, just scanning, yeah, so the, the last one was translated by Ron Padgett and this one called Secret is translated by Kenneth Rexroth. Secret. The empty bell, the dead birds, in the house where everyone is falling asleep, nine o'clock. The earth holds itself still. You would say somebody sighed. The trees look like they were smiling. Water trembles at the tip 
of each leaf, a cloud crosses the night. In front of the door, a man is singing. The window opens noiselessly. So again, that one is more of a, just, just a scene, just a, a, a very thin <laughs> slice of, of, of life. Um, just a particular place, a particular time, um, or, or, or almost like a, you know, just a, a, a painting of a, of, of a street uh, in the evening. Uh, so I, I'll, I'll leave it there. That there, there have been a few that blew me away a bit more than that, but I, <laughs> I couldn't find them. Um, so I'll leave it there. This is Pierre Riverdi, and I've been enjoying rereading him. Uh, but until next time, thanks very much for watching, and I'll see you soon. Bye.